day, everyone. This is Zorina Dimitrova, host of the Grow and Learn podcast and of the Heal and Learn platform. Today, I'm joined by Kelly Bader, a beautiful woman who is based in Switzerland, and she's an identity-based coach, a Christian-led coach, a Christ-led coach. I, she's going to explain what this means. Um, I went through her website. It's impressive how many uh, appearances in famous places she has made. She's been featured in many of the major uh, media outlets in the US, in Europe, and she's been helping business owners make six, seven, seven figure um, profits based on her system for identity led coaching. Welcome, Kelly. Good to Thank have you. you. Th thank you for having me. Kelly, where do we start? What is your, how did you discover your identity? Let's start with that. What is your story? Oh, uh, I don't think we have three days to talk about this. So I will, <laughs> try, to, I will try to shorten it, uh, you know, cause I'm the, I'm the stage of, I'm nearly 55 years old. So that's why I'm joking that, you know, uh, yeah, we don't have three days to talk about that. So I was uh, born and raised in a time and a place when baby girls were not value much. Uh, you know, in those uh, time, you know, the we were just seen as a future baby production machine. So not to mention, you know, the education. And growing up, um, I was just, you know, a daughter of a mistress. And so the idea of the self value, it did not register in me at all. And, you know, so you know, over oh, almost like one and a half decades of my life uh, while I was growing up, uh, I experienced the family violence and sexual abuse. And so, but it's because of that times of uh, the experience and kind of uh, strengthened me to who I am today. And after the, you know, uh, graduated from university while climbing the ladder of a corporate uh, career. I was in the end was director of sales and marketing in, in luxury hospitality industries. Uh, but in that process, you know, uh, we talking about, you know, uh, the male domination uh, situation in the workplace. And uh, I remember, you know, there's a very a good movie, uh, US uh, American movie is called Hidden Figures. Uh, so if you guys haven't watched it, you can, you can go to watch it. Basically, you talk about a group of a real hero behind the scene of a NASA when they, you know, launch the, 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 the plan to the space. But that group of women is actually a black women, uh, African-American women. They are the really, the, 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 that's why the hidden figures. They are the real hero. And one of the main cast, her name is Catherine. And I remember um, Catherine uh, in between because she was the only woman in that department. Everybody's, everyone else is men. And when she need to go to a, a ladies room, you know, toilet in between the, during the hours of working, she had to run blocks away to go to ladies room. Uh, I experienced a similar thing is I was one of the youngest um, worst uh, women uh, corporate executive then. So I remember so often when I went to the meeting, whether it's outside meeting with clients or the uh, board meeting and during the meeting, the coffee break, I asking the host that, hey, I need to go to the ladies room. Where's the ladies room? And they told me, well, we don't have ladies room on this floor because we are not used to have women here. So that was the backdrop of my corporate, uh, corporate life. And still that, uh, later I, I became an entrepreneur uh, since 2008. And uh, even, you know, in this field, like uh, I remember I was uh, one, I was joined one of the very well-known uh, male uh, online coaches, and uh, well, he shall remain nameless because almost everybody knows him. And I remember uh, one day when we, in the one-on-one -on -one session, he asked me, say, oh, okay, it's Kelly, so what do you want to do your next step for your platform? 
And I told him that I feel like I feel like you know I want to start a podcast. Uh, and he he's American, and he asked me say, oh, so do you mean podcast in Chinese? I say no. I say eighty five percent of my clients they are in English speaking country, especially North America. And he told me that you know Kelly, don't do that because as American, I won't listen to your podcast. I said, why? He said, well, because your accent, right? And and same thing that when I was publishing my book in 2012, um, I went to New York after three months of um, very intensive media training. And you know, those years we don't have the podcast that is that popular. We still pitch the major medias, traditional radio show, magazine, and so on. So uh, I went to that pitch, pitch tools, and one of the, we were given like 90 seconds to pitch each outlet. And I remember there was one CNBC journalist when it was my turn, 30 seconds in, he coming off. And he said, okay, let me tell you, this won't work. I said, why? Is it because the message is not strong enough or anything else? He said, listen, you are a businesswoman, you are a big girl, let me tell you. I'm American and your English is not your native language. I won't read your book. So it's just constantly in, you know, in this, uh, um, even in pursuing this entrepreneurship, when people today look at me, they thought everything all put well together. It seems like she got everything together, but you, you probably did not know is we have all those background stories to step up, you know, uh, until today. Uh, but uh, since I'm a person of faith, so I remember after the trip, I went home, I used my marketing skill, you know, within 60 days, we sold 13,000 books. And, wow, uh, mm -hmm. and they say the podcast doesn't work. Well, now we are in six years of that podcast. It's a, one of the top ranking in the Christian business field. And I what hope- What is the that, podcast called? It's a, it's a called Christian CEO podcast. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's empower Christian entrepreneurs that you, you want to build your business. And we, some are solo episodes and some are, I have a lot of influential friends they come on to talk about different fields of expertise. Now, the whole thing is, and crazy enough, afterwards, I even got on the TEDx stage, right? A couple of years back that uh, I spoke on the TEDx stage, well, while people say my English is not good enough. Um, I think, you know, no matter where you are today, especially women, uh, you know, there's always something. And as a woman, we have like, I think this is a woman, one of the women's our problem is, we're always teasing say, if there's a job, if you are looking for your next job in the job search, and if you look at that criteria, there's 10 items, and we look at it, it maybe we fit like eight, eight of them or nine of them, and then we will tell us, oh, we are not qualified. But then if it's a man, look at the same job, and then he only had like maybe six or seven. He said, I'm a superstar. I got to apply for it, right? So I think, I hope that through this episode that uh, and my story will encourage more women out there or, or more female leaders out there, knowing that uh, don't downplay yourself. Uh, you probably are a whole lot more valuable than what others tell you to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How did you personally overcome all these rejections, Kelly? I, I, I know quite a few people that were that are expats and that have a similar difficulty to what you had experienced and they're putting themselves down because of language, because of um, even a, a minute accent or anything like that. So people are experiencing a lot of drawbacks that actually come from themselves, but yours came from outside. How did you overcome this? Uh, I think um, the one major thing is because I have a relationship with God. Uh, faith in my life, it plays a very strong 
probably the, the most, not probably, it is the most important thing in my life. Uh, notice I did not say I have a religion. I say mm -hmm. I have a relationship with God. Uh, you know, uh, for me, everything that whatever in the Bible that what God said who I am, that I believe it. I'm not saying I'm so good that I never doubt. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying that if God say I am enough, if in the Bible say that I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me, then I'm going to believe it. Uh, and of course, the other side of it, I'm not just kind of sitting there, do nothing, you know, after I read the Bible. Uh, I also, in let's say, I always looking for, per, you know, growth, you know, personal growth, business growth. Uh, I won't sit there, do nothing, but I was seeking, what can I do to move myself one step forward, mm -hmm. right? Whether it's, whether it's come to our own health, whether it's come to, you know, for those of you in the Korea, where it's come to like me and my colleague that in the business field, right? You cannot stay idle and then sit there, complain, look at other people's achievement and point fingers say, oh, you know, um, that, you know, she has everything, you know, because she is this, this, this. So therefore she can achieve that uh, easier than me. I think that is a mindset as well. Um, mm -hmm. So I know this, there's no short answer to that, how I overcame this. During my journey, I also have other people, you know, they reach out to me and to help me out. And that's why I am also just that now. I hope that this episode is my way to give my hand out, to reach out to you, to share what I have been through. So hopefully that you can save you some time, efforts, and heartache. Mm -hmm. Kelly, you're, you're, um, I, I listened to a bit of your video on TEDx that is featured on your website. Let me just share the name of your website. It's called kellybada.com. And you can watch the um, videos that Kelly was just talking about on TEDx, where she's talking about ripped jeans. Interesting subject. <laughs> um, I haven't listened to the video completely, but I will. And I just wanted to ask you now more about how you help people. Um, there's something very interesting that we started talking about before we started recording, which is the one, 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 one principle, something about identity coaching. Could you share what this was exactly how you help your clients? Grow? Okay. So what you are mentioning is uh, we call power of one framework. And um, I wish I would say I was so smart and I'm the one get a framework, but it wasn't. It actually was in uh, right before COVID. I had a speaking engagement in London uh, in one of my uh, dear friend business mentor, his signature event and was very in the cool place called Queen Elizabeth Conference Hall, uh, you pronounce something. And I, he was asking me to share that one thing, that one idea, it worked so well in for me and also for my clients in the last 12 years. And after I really like try to figure what is that one idea, because as an entrepreneur, our problem is we have too many ideas. And um, so when in the that was one day in the morning when that week I need to summon out my subject. I I asked God, say, okay, what what do you want me to share? And I wrote a very big one on my flip chart. And he said, that's it. And I said, what do you mean that's it? I know it's one idea, but what, which idea? He said, what was that one thing that you help your clients get their breakthrough, no matter which stage their business are in? Either they just got started, they want to scale, they want to, scale to six figures or six to seven or whatever. And at that moment, I have an aha moment. Uh, because I, I look back, reflect all my clients and my sales journey. I'm sure that, you know, 
we all have those moments of we know today exactly what we should be doing, but we cannot pull ourselves to do it. We have those moments, right? We know exactly what we should be doing, but we just don't do it. Uh, or we even try to do other things to avoid to do that thing. And be, why that is because there's a gap in the identity. There's a gap of where you are right now to where you want to be. This is almost, it, it's, it, that's a gap, is a difference. So that moment, in no matter in business world speaking, is no matter I give you whatever marketing strategies, whatever tactic, the result for you won't change until we fix you. We fix the business on ourselves, right? So, so that is the, where the Power One framework came because after that speaking, that was the only standing ovation speech during that summit. So I knew I got, I got something cooking. Right away, we got 20 people beta test that program. In the next nine weeks, we got awesome results. Amazing. So Power mm -hmm. One framework is the first one. It's what is the number one problem or solution you will provide that you offer that you can provide to your number one type of ideal clients by your best current version of you and articulate the way, the best way that your ideal clients understand that value. So it's you, your ideal client, the offer, and the communication. So it's a one, 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 one. This is four area. But obviously we also refer back to, I always say when God want to start some movement, he always start from one person and that's you. <laughs> but also for me, I also reflect to who is the one in power, I have the ability to serve people. It's only one God to me. So it's always one. Um, so that's how I help my clients. No matter which stage they are, it's always within these four ones. It's just a different level of sophistication. You know, yeah. for, for people just got started, the, the, the one thing after we figure out, a set, do the assessment about this business owner, we will try to use the Fatis way to help them to articulate the value of the offer and right away send up them to test out first. Because for them, this stage is they need to figure out their message even work or not before they build a website, before they even spend any money on um, all other unnecessary stuff. But then let's say for six, seven figure people, for them is now, okay, I have a foundation, but then how can I make my presence, my content out there to be, you know, more, we call it omnipresence, many, they need to be able, it seems they show up everywhere. They seem that they show up in a, also a very different level of, content marketing, because content marketing is not, a lot of people thought of content marketing, they think about just how-to content. How-to content is just a basic. Mm -hmm. you know, if you are only, your content only show how-to type of content out there, you basically put yourself, just compete with Google or YouTube. If people mm -hmm. want to know how to do certain thing, they can just go to Google or they go to YouTube. The really good content is that you will make your people think. And that is the real content marketing. Mm -hmm. So that's for the six to seven figures and, and beyond in a different level. Awesome. I love your story. You're, it's very inspirational and everything you shared with us about the system. Thank you so much, Kelly. People can find you on Kelly Bader with double A dot com. Anything else you want to share with our audience? 
No, no. Uh, thank you so much for having me. And then if you want the, uh, if you guys are interested about Power One Framework, yeah, just like what she said, you can go to my website or you can go directly to power01framework.com. There's a free and forward slash masterclass. There's a free masterclass. You can just go to watch it. Uh, and there it's people say, even just watch a masterclass, they have a good break very soon already. Amazing. Thank you for sharing so much inspiration in such a short period of time, you know, going through what you've overcome as a child and what you've overcome as a woman, what you've overcome as an entrepreneur. Uh, simply amazing that you managed to put this in such a compact form. Thank you, Kelly. You are so welcome.